it's a social aspect. So we're not really being able to see our friends in person every single day like how we usually would. And even though we're doing like dance classes on, online, it's not the same as how it usually would be. So that's been very hard. And for me, again, the social aspect, but also um, dancing in the garage, we don't have. Um, we're often we feel cramped when we're dancing, and we're lucky because we've got the same space that Mum uses to teach. So she can, she's got a bunch of space and a TV, so she can easily teach her students. And we have that too, but we still feel cramped. So the other students who don't have that luxury, um, it's it's definitely difficult doing all the steps and getting properly stretched and stuff like that. Definitely, a few of my friends when we've got in contact, they've said that it's hard to do the main dancing because as you can see, it's a big studio. So usually we'd have a lot of space and it's hard at home just doing, feeling like even if we did have a big space, it still feels like we're not able to do everything that we would do in like the regular dance studios. So I know they are very like they are struggling. A few of them don't have very big spaces as well. So it's like definitely hard with the space issue. I'm not really in contact with most of my dance friends. Normally I just speak to them at dancing, but when I have had contact with them they def they've definitely been struggling as well. Um, with the space and the social aspect and I know that a, a bunch of them have cut down dancing this term doing one or two classes or sometimes not any at all because it's just too hard for them. I feel like yes there is a potential for them to stop but then again I feel like most of them because they've been um, here for so long will definitely will come back and at least to see their friends and see how they're going and if they there is a possibility that they have lost the passion for dancing over this past over these past few months but yeah I would definitely think that as well because a lot of um, well I would agree with Jack because there are a few people that I know I've been dancing with since like the very some of my very first concerts and some of them were only very recent. But um, a lot of the a lot of my friends I haven't seen in regular dance classes, just really in exam classes, which makes me think they've probably got they struggled, struggled a lot with the online aspect. And yeah, there's I know there's that's not a, like that's not the only thing. There's definitely a lot of people who have stopped doing regular classes and just stopped doing one or just the exam classes because it's just been too hard. I feel like I don't think it's fair at all because at dancing, um, we have we have all these dots here so we can easily spread out and even then we found that we normally spread out further when doing our dance classes and yes there is contact um, sometimes but it's very easy to choreograph non-contact um, routines so that should not be an issue and all of our apparatus that we use is the bar we don't really use anything else and that can easily be clean um, clean between classes and no one, everyone is in the same spot so they don't intermingle. So do you find that too relevant? So during a ballet class, I don't know what dance you do, do you ballet? Yeah. So during a ballet class, you would actually, you could actually say this metre and a half of the bar is ours mm -hmm. and then this next one is Jack's and the next one is, so you could actually allocate that for a whole class. Yeah, definitely, because also a lot of the bar work we do, we don't for bar stuff, whenever we are on the bar, we usually stay in the same position for the whole exercise, would you say? It's not really like a moving thing with the bar, it's usually just focusing on things like turnout and arms and that, so it's it's not like we 
If it's the same time as other sporting clubs or um, whenever schools open, please do it because the social aspect and the physical aspect of being stuck in stuck in spaces that uh, that they're not up to the same standard that we've got here, um, and we don't wear good boots out. We don't need we do non-contact stuff unlike sports such as football and basketball with uh, with a ball that's spread out between all of them, I feel like we should be able to have the same chance to go back as them because our contact is minimal compared to theirs. Definitely very similar as very much the social aspect because many of the, because in between classes and breaks we're definitely always outside and socialising so definitely to for a lot of the kids and a lot of us we're missing that social aspect and also that like exercise because we're coming in here and this is our exercise this is our physical activity um, so we're missing that which I find is very important as well so and also just like I enjoy it and I know everyone who does dancing enjoys dancing so it's like bring it like if we could if they could help out if they could make it so that dance schools can go back earlier that would help a lot of things socializing um, the exercise and just like enjoyment. So I'm gonna now just because I have to always take one minute extra at the end you're very passionate about dancing, and Jack, I'm sorry I'm going to leave you out of this, but it's only a story I've just heard. You're so passionate about dancing that I understand you have a story of when you may have been injured, you still come back on and still come back to a concert. Is that correct? Yes. What happened? Well, it was before the curtain was going to go down for the audience to come into the theatre, and, well, everyone was on stage for opening night and waiting, and we were all being silly, and I falling onto a headpiece that my brother was wearing and he was being the tin man and it ended up cutting my chin and so I went to my mum who was side stage and well I was bleeding a lot so we went to the hospital and I got scheduled for a plastic surgery appointment like to get plastic surgery the next day so they put a bandage over it and they said to go home but we couldn't go home so we had to go back to the, to the um, theatre and one of the dancers that I was in had a partner like section and it was kind of just like a I'll go on stage for that one dance so we put foundation over my um, thing to look like it wasn't a big white bandage and I went on stage for that dance because I didn't want to let my team down because there was a part section and a lot of the dance was very much showing the, the lines and the circles and the shape so 